Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is certainly with learningconstruction.com and uh, welcome to another video about foundation work. Uh, this time I would like to talk about how to excavate for a foundation or a footing. Alright, so the first thing is you need to define your elevation for a finished floor to whatever structure you're building, either a retaining wall or a building pad or etc. In other words, you need to find the top of the concrete or the finished floor. And at, at that point you can determine the depth of the uh, top of the footing. Remember that all these structural drawings will request you a minimum depth to the top of your footing from the grade. Once you determine what your top of concrete is, you can determine where your grade is going to be and therefore you can, you can find out what the uh, minimum depth for the top of your footing is. <coughs> Alright, the next thing that you want to do is to dig to the bottom of the footing. Uh, if possible, and in most cases, you should be able to use the soil as your shoring walls for your footings, just like you can see on this video over here, we're basically uh, digging a trench so we can so we can place our footing. Uh, in other cases, you're going to have to dig to the bottom of the footing and then form the footing walls. This is usually for uh, mat slabs, above grade, or other types of foundations. Alright, once you have dug to the bottom of your footing, it's very important that you verify the compaction of the soil. Uh, most of your structural drawings will request you to dig to the native soil, uh, which is the undisturbed soil uh, that you just dug. However, you want to make sure that the soil is uh, consistently hard, or you're getting an average compaction of 90% or so. I, I can't give you a number because you have to review that in your structural drawings. But if the soil is not acceptable, or in other words, it's too soft, then you're going to have to remove it and you're going to have to replace it for uh, a material that is acceptable and it has an acceptable compaction. And we're going to talk about this a little more in this video. Uh, with me here I have Sean from Silicon Valley Soils and uh, he's going to talk to me about the type of uh, conditions that we have on this uh, bottom of the footing. Now we're trying to proceed here with the rebar placement and the foundation footing. The foundation bottom is soft so I instructed the superintendent to um, to remove the soft soil. We cannot proceed with rebar at this grade because as you can see, it's mud. There may have been some type of uh, seepage water that was introduced in this area. But as you can see, the, we're digging out the material and we have reached a, a bottom which is stable. Basically, we're going to receive the additional uh, concrete in the foundation. All right. Well, thanks for all your help, Sean. And uh, guys, if you guys have any questions or comments, please mention it in the box below. And uh, don't forget to check our website, learningconstruction.com. Thank you, guys.